Hey everybody, my name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle function video series. Today we're going to be going over the extensor digitorium muscle. I will be going over its location which includes the starting point called the origin, followed by its ending point called the insertion. And then building on with providing you the functions of this muscle and then finally providing you an exercise so you know how to strengthen this muscle as well. So to start off, let's go over the location of it. So we know where we're talking about and then we'll build from there. So the extensor digitorium muscle originates on the lateral epicondyle of the humerus, which is located pretty much on the side of your elbow. And then it runs down and has kind of a wider muscle belly and then comes down your wrist and then kind of splits off, well pretty much splits off into four tendons inserting or ending onto the middle and the distal phalanxes of the second through the fifth finger. So two, three, four, and five. So your middle knuckle and your most furthest knuckle, also known as the distal knuckle, um, that's where this muscle inserts onto or ends. So knowing where this muscle is located on my body, I will now provide you a photo or an illustration of the uh, muscle, what it would look like on a skeleton. So here is that illustration for you. Okay, so now that we know where this muscle is on our body, now we can move on to its functions and provide those movements for you. So the first and foremost, most important piece of information that you can take away from this video is that the extensor digitorium is the only muscle that is going to extend your second, which is your pointer finger, through the fifth finger. Okay, so that's two, three, four, and five. So your pointer, your middle, your ring, and your pinky. That is the only muscle that's going to extend those four fingers. So we're looking at movements that involve extension of those fingers. So regular extension of the fingers would be like so. Also extension through all the knuckles. It could be singly or it could be all together simultaneously. Okay. And then also we're looking at wrist extension. And the fourth and foremost function of this particular muscle is to be a weak elbow extensor. Okay, so that is taking a bent arm and straightening it. So now that we know the functions of the extensor digitorium muscle and where it is, now we can apply its exercises to your training regimen in order to strengthen this muscle. So since this is the only muscle that extends those fingers, you're looking at any exercise that is going to strengthen that movement. Now personally me, since I would, it, this would be my first time training that muscle, normally I don't train my forearms, um, probably not a good thing, but anyway, you could probably start off with just manual resistance just by holding with your hand on top and moving those fingers throughout the full extension. Okay, now whenever you include the wrist extension, you get the best and fullest movement or function out of this particular muscle. So if we have our fingers curled in and wrist bent, you'll have to, yeah, okay. So fingers curled in, wrist bent. This is my bad wrist, so that's why I was trying to see if I could switch, but that's okay. I'm going to push in just a little bit to provide some tension. I'm going to straighten my fingers and 
extend my wrist at the same time. That will strengthen this muscle at its best because that is what recruits most of this muscle. So I hope everybody has enjoyed uh, the video. If you have watched the whole thing and you found value in it, hit the like button. If you know a friend that may find use for it, share it with them. <clears throat> you can pass it on with a share. And if you have any questions or comments, please insert them into the comment section below. I'd be happy to get to them. I try to get to everybody. Uh, there may be one or two that I might miss. I do apologize about that. I do try to get to everybody. If you didn't get your question answered, please post it again in this video below. If you had it from a previous video, that is completely fine. Any question on any muscle it doesn't have to be this muscle. So I hope everybody has a great Labor Day weekend and I hope everybody makes a great productive week. Have a nice week everybody. See you next week.